You know, Marty, it's it's uh, January 2016. Uh, it's, it's, it's been another great day for the alumni to come back and see what's going on with the program. It makes me think back to when I was head coach here in the fall of 2003. I gave Rodney a call because our men were going down to cross country nationals. And I'd asked Rod, could you come down? They wanted to invite him to induct him into the NCAA Division II Cross Country Hall of Fame. So I called him up and I said, you know, would you come down? This would really, may not, he was never, never, Rod's never been a lot for accolades, but so it may not have been that big of a deal for him, but I said, Rod, it, this would, this would help us out a lot with recruiting more press, your name, would you come down? And he said yes, he'd come down. So he came down, got to meet the kids that had never met Rod DeHaven before. But that night we had a little talk and, and uh, about the vision of the program, where we're going and where we've done. Lo and behold, a month later, my wife gets a, gets a call to go do a postdoctoral fellowship. Lo and behold, that month later, I call up Rodney again with this thought. If she took that fellowship, what would you, would you be interested in coming back to SDSU? Thankfully, he didn't question that phone call, but he, he would, would thought about it. And I think that transition from, from Ron DeHaven coming back to South Dakota State to what it's evolved to here today and beyond, it's not by accident. He's done tremendous things for this program, this school. He's really a gift to, to all of us, but also the kids that are here today. I, you know, I look around and just see all the people that are here, all the kids that he's touched by his knowledge, his compassion for distance running, track and field. And uh, I think we're really blessed to have him as our leader. And uh, look forward to coming back next year. Yeah, thanks so much.